Let's talk about the three hot topics in the real estate and mortgage arena right now. I must confess, I'm super excited about this special episode of the Martini Mortgage Podcast because I truly believe when one has clarity on what is really happening in the current market and when one understands that the 2008 real estate market will not be rinsed and repeated. And when one understands what the future may hold for the balance of the year, then one will have confirmation that we are not in a place of challenge, but one of opportunity, a moment of opportunity. Welcome to special episode 154 of the Martini Mortgage Podcast. My name is Kevin Martini, and I am a certified mortgage advisor. I am fortunate to help families create generational wealth in real estate with the proper mortgage strategy. I'm located in Raleigh, North Carolina. However, myself, along with a very talented crew of mortgage professionals, help families in all 100 counties in North Carolina and pretty much in every state in the U.S. too. I'm calling this special episode of the Martini Mortgage Podcast, Three Hot Topics in Real Estate. Let's do this. The number one Kevin Martini hot topic is the current environment. It is significant to highlight that 2022 marked the end of the pandemic deep discount for mortgage rates. During the evil pandemic, mortgage rates were not just on sale. They were slashed and deeply discounted. In 2022, the deep discount of home loans is gone. However, mortgage rates today are still on sale and are not at suggested retail price. Now, according to the data from Freddie Mac, the increase from 30-year fixed rates starting with a three to start with a four happened in March of 2022. In April, we went from four to five. In June, we seen the highest of 2022 rates. But let me give you a little perspective. When my wife and I purchased our first home, the rate we paid was in the mid nines. And that was for an adjustable rate mortgage, not even a fixed rate mortgage. So from a historical perspective, mortgage rates today remain at historic levels. Have mortgage rates peaked? Well, at the time of this recording, right now mortgage rates are lower than the 2022 highs. It is my opinion, fluctuation in mortgage rates is going to be the new norm until inflation is under control. You see, inflation is the nemesis to the mortgage rate since mortgage rates live in the bond market. Inflation erodes the return of a bond and level the playing field to get the yield. There has to be higher mortgage rates. Bless their heart. The Federal Reserve is trying to get inflation under control. Here is the challenge. The Fed is always late to the party and they stay too long at the party. I believe even though they've been delayed in taking action, and even though they are not being as aggressive as I would like them to be, they will get the job of inflation fighting done. However, it's likely we are either already in or going to be in a recession. Oh, no! I said the R word. Recession. And... Fresh in the minds of many, the Great Recession of 2008. If you are multitasking while listening, please lend me your full attention because you need to know this. Recession does not mean housing crisis. The housing crisis caused the 2008 recession. The 2008 recession did not cause the housing crisis. During the most recent recession in 2020, home values increased 6%. During periods of recession, fixed assets like gold and your home tend to do very well. 
In the modern era, which to me is 1980 to today, there have been six official recessions where everyone agrees they are recessions. If you take out the Great Recession out of the equation, since it was an anomaly, that would mean that during four of the last five recessions, home prices increased. The one time they went down, they went down only 1.9%. Now, there is one thing that six for six during the last recessions. Mortgage rates improved from peak to trough. On average, the improvement was under 2%. Most notable was during the 1982 recession. At the peak, mortgage rates were 18%, and at the trough, they were 13%. Holy cow! Mortgage rates are sexy today, and it is likely they're even going to get more sexy, but don't wait to buy. Remember this. You can always date your rate. Let me say it another way. The home loan you see here today, you can always refinance later to an even better rate when the opportunity beeps on the radar. I I know what you're thinking. Hey, Kevin Martini, since history has shared that mortgage rates post-recession tend to get better, why don't I just wait to buy until then? I'm picking up what you're dropping. And the answer is simple. You should not wait to buy because homes are still appreciating. The home today will cost more in the future. Right now, the families I serve as their trusted mortgage advisor, I am suggesting that right now they need to find a home that they want to marry and let us date the rate. More on home appreciation in hot topic number three. So let's shift gears The number two Kevin Martini hot topic is why there will not be a rinse and repeat of the housing crisis. During the housing crisis of 2008, there was an oversupply of homes. And that is not the case today. In fact, today, there's not enough homes for sale. As a certified mortgage advisor, the metric I use is inventory, specifically the months of supply or the housing inventory of homes for sale. A neutral market will have a six-month supply of inventory of homes for sale. When we look at 2008, in 2008, there were over 10-month supply of homes, and today there's basically a three-month supply of homes. Simply put, the current environment is absolutely nothing like it was in 2008. Too many houses and not enough buyers versus less inventory and many home buyers. Inventory is just one reason why 2008 will not be rinsed and repeated. Another reason is lending standards. Pre-2008, it was super easy to get a mortgage. Basically, the requirement to be living could be waived in some circumstances. That's a joke. There were designer home loan programs that did not require confirmation of income or assets. Lending guidelines were very loose back then. And today, it has to make sense to secure a mortgage. I believe, and I have found, that the lending standards today take a very common sense approach. Now to Kevin Martini hot topic number three. Where the heck are we headed? For the balance of 2022 and for years to come, real estate will continue to be green and growing, not ripe and rotten. It is critical that I point this out. The pace of home sales and the rate of appreciation experienced during the pandemic is not sustainable. Again, the pace of homes sold and the rate of appreciation was courtesy of what I call the pandemic anomaly. We are now going back to a normal market and normal is not a bad thing. According to the seven industry leaders, we can expect a double double digit 
level of appreciation for the balance of 2022. Remember, there that there is an undersupply of homes available for sale in 2020 and 2021, which was because of the pandemic anomaly. But the balance of 2022 and 2023 is going to be normal. Normal is comparing the market of today to other normal historical markets, not the exceptional market of 2020 and 2021. As it relates to mortgage rates, expect fluctuation between now and mid to end of 2023. I think we're going to stay in the mid fives for uh, uh, for a client that has a credit, but I also think there will be a huge opportunity with lower rates towards the end of 2023. This is why I say now it's time to marry the home and date the rate. Oh, by the way, the rate you are dating is still very low, but if they go lower, you can refinance and then be married to the home and the rate That's like having your cake and eating it too. Right now, there are fewer multiple offer scenarios in the market. Fewer homes are selling above asking price. And slowly, supply is increasing with normal perspectives. Now is the moment you've been waiting for, but always remember this. It should be home loan first, and then go find your home. With that said, a decision to buy a home for the first time or as a repeat home buyer should not be a decision that one makes by listening to a podcast or reading an article or based on what you heard at the backyard barbecue. The first step to home ownership, regardless of your experience level, is to have a confidential conversation with a certified mortgage advisor to see if home ownership is right. And if it is, what are your options? Again, my name is Kevin Martini and I am a certified mortgage advisor. And during our first conversation, which will be confidential, I will learn about your goals and needs. And armed with this information, I will be able to create a path for home ownership. You see, it should always be home loan first. So you have price and cost clarity and certainty. And then go find your home. You can reach me by dialing 919-238-4934. With an open heart, thank you for listening to episode 154 of the Martini Mortgage Podcast. Please share this episode with somebody you care about. Now it's time for the disclaimer. This material has been prepared for marketing purposes only. This is not a loan commitment of any kind. Loan approval and rate are dependent upon borrower's credit, collateral, financial history, and program availability at time origination. Rates and terms are subject to change without notice. The Martini Mortgage Group at PCL Financials, a division of celebrity owned loans, NMLS 227765 with a branch address of 507 North Blunt Street, Raleigh, North Carolina, 27604. You can contact Certified Mortgage Advisor and Producing Branch Manager Kevin Martini, NMLS 143962 by calling the branch and that number is 919-238-4934. For a full list and more licensing information, please visit www.nmlsconsumeraccess.org or by visiting www.martinimortgagegroup.com. Equal housing lender.